Hello, hello, and welcome. All right. Well, just jumping right into it today. Um, gonna try something a little bit different today with just keeping the jams going, hopefully a little softly. Just this one song, I promise. Uh, hoping my sound check is okay. Yeah, okay. Ha <laughs> ha, farmer. <laughs> That's too funny, he says. I was just like, what the, What is this voice coming out of my computer? Yeah, can you imagine that? Just me all of a sudden like, hello, <clears throat> welcome. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, jumping into it today. Uh, I thought, you know, we did, I did record this and do this yesterday, so we might as well just put that on the page and link it so that people can, uh, you know, get a visual reference if they're not totally sure. It's easy for me to be like, oh, just just give it a separate data path. It's easy for me to do that. Mm. Okay, get the, grab that link here. <laughs> Just left it running all day. <laughs> okay, well, well, that's crunching. Ended the stream yesterday not knowing, you know, how to make M-Locks work. Kind of being in uh, sort of like package hell. And actually, shortly after the stream, you can see here, I actually did figure out it was <clears throat> Pi QT5 quick. And we can actually... Run M-Locks here. We're not going to do it just right now. Wanted to bury the lead a little bit while the website crunches. <clears throat> but yeah, that's certainly something that I'm going to cover today. And, uh, oh yeah, another thing I wanted to do was create another 0 0.49 dev build app image. I was kicking them out, you know, every couple of days for a while, and then I just didn't. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and actually do that right now. Because it's just going to take a minute. Might as well make my computer work. Let's open. Oh, okay. And we're going to. All right. And that just chugs away. And um, the app image, if you're not aware, is kind of like a Linux. Um, binary packaging approach uh, where, you know, ideally you are creating a binary on one system or like a package and then you can run it on just easily, just run it, you know, like Windows folks do just on any setup. And so, yeah, on the right here, this is just a quick look at the Docker file um, that I used to make the app image. Should be really simple. You know, we're just setting up this is unfortunately the newest Ubuntu version that I could find that would build everything without too much trouble, without having to build an entire compiler. Ended up being like a huge image and just would not have been feasible in some kind of CI, really. Um, it would have been a big pain. But anyway, yeah, it's just, you know, really setting things up, getting the stuff we need to build app image. My little script for building OpenMW, cloning OpenMW, building all the things, bullet, my GUI, OSG, SDL. And then this is just kind of another, yet another shell script that just does some really basic glue things. <clears throat> Building OpenMW again with my script, making some desktop files that AppImage wants, um, some metadata app stream files. Um, so if you got like some special app image stuff in your system or a launcher or whatever, you know, it'll give nicer information. And then yeah, we just make the app image there. So nothing really crazy, but um, I do it in a way Ooh, buffering. Oh, no. Ooh, yeah. Mine is buffering, too. Well. Uh, 
There has to be some way for me to watch the chat without streaming the video. <clears throat> You're getting buffering too over there? Okay. Anyway, sorry about that, Mr. Farmer. But there you have it, app image, pretty simple. Um, conceptually, you know, um, and it's ha it's really handy for me personally to uh, just get a quick build on my Steam Deck. So with all that, um, we'll go back to uh, back to the e shell here, which is hopefully done crunching as a, the website here, and we'll just take a look at what we got. <laughs> okay, it must be working. This would be the lag right here, folks. If it's lagging, this is why. Um, we're building OpenMW right now, and since it's more than a quarter of the way done, I'm just going to, we have the sunken cost fallacy. We're rolling with it. But that would be why things are slow, probably. So, Bad judgment call. We're going to deal with a couple of crappy minutes here while I look at this. Uh, okay. And just a reminder, we put the video link, <clears throat> excuse me, on Gonzo's. With the intent of showing folks, this is how you take the vanilla splash screens out of the mix in a nice way that lets you plug them back in, you know, if you ever want to do that. All right, looks good. Oh boy, good to watch myself now. Here we go. Mm, okay, that's good enough. My computer is suffering enough as it is under the load of doing too much. Yeah, well, load average right now reports from HTOP as 40. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I'm actually going to kill this. We'll do that another time. I hope that's better now. Or I hope it gets better. Just going to type to the channel here. Okay. So I should be, whoa, should be back out of slideshow mode and back into normal. We're doing this mode. I put the link to yesterday's stream on uh, YouTube. <laughs> uh, and then thought, you know what? I did, I did in the video what I'm talking about here, which may not be super clear to somebody. Um, yeah, I know. Well, the... <laughs> Farmer says, nice that shit. Well, yeah, I mean, if I wasn't an idiot, I wouldn't have used, you know, all of my cores plus one. Uh, whoops. So we'll go back and change that um, maybe later in the stream. But now that I gave you all, like, uh, the slideshow treatment, here we are back now. And, yeah, we're looking at uh, a link to the part in yesterday's stream where I, like, extracted the vanilla Morrowind splash screens out of the data files and... Um, put them into their own data path. So you can use them if you want, but they're off by default. Mute that shit. Um, yeah, okay, so my ugly mug aside, looks good. And I'm gonna commit that. <clears throat> oh, and I found a typo in the change log this morning while I was having coffee. Gotta love it. What else can I say? Okay. Back to the document.
Farmer says he's streaming my window on Discord. Yeah, I blocked Discord from having sound, so it's all good. Oh, neat. Pardon me. <laughs> wow, that's weird. All right, I'm going to close that. Actually, I'm close Discord altogether. Hopefully, I'm not still slideshowing. Farmer, anybody else? Let me know. All right. So anyway, uh, we'll do that. I'll do that later. Let's see. Go ahead and do that later. We'll put a nice on it. We'll actually not build it with all my CPUs. I'll just use like one. Um in like a, I don't know, like a half hour or so. I'll do that. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is actually a big one right here. Um, know Thy Ancestors has TR content that is apparently broken. Um, so what we need to do on the website is not recommend the plugin, but there is a problem. When I was playing without the plugin, I saw some issue with some you know, tomb or another. Um, let me get my windows straight here. So anyway, let's um. Yes, you can also re-nice a running process. That's right. I basically just hit the e-brake. Awesome. That's great. So we're gonna go by uh, where I kind of remember seeing the goof. But first, I'm going to make sure that I recreate. Let's see. No, thy ancestors. No TR. No, thy ancestors. So might this be the problem? We'll see. I'm not going to theorize just yet. I'm back. Hello. Sorry about that. Ten minutes of garbage. You're welcome. Hey, that's kind of where we're going. Cool. <laughs> All right. Ooh, okay. So, yes, it's a slideshow. Not the greatest, but we want just to find a tomb somewhere. I'll probably regret this. Huh. I mean, hey, you know, that is not too bad. This is, again, total overhaul configuration on my high-end potato. Not the longest view distance out there, but still, I think more than you would reasonably want to do on this integrated graphics card. Intel. I'm just looking for a tomb that I swore I saw over here. Here we go. Yeah, okay. See, look at this. So when I've got just the base plugin loaded, and you can see right up here, huh, there we have it. This is the mesh that's missing. Now, I bet what we can do is we can not load the TR plugin, but still load the data. So this will be a key installation step we're going to have to let people know about. Something just happened. Don't try this at home, kids. All right, so let's reactivate that. But importantly... We're not activating the plugin. I knew I wasn't crazy. 
and I had some issue. All right, so let's load this up again. And again, apologies about the potato game quality. I do have uh, plans for my gaming PC doing a stream from there, um, which is a bit more of a high-end potato. In this day and age, it is a potato. Um, 5700 XT AMD graphics card. It's over three years old now, but hey, I mean, it's good. But I will do the stream from there sometime. There's just a challenge. Uh, I don't... That is strictly my gaming machine. It doesn't have access to anything, you know. My servers, my code, you know. So it would be a little awkward. Um, but I spent some time setting up at least a basic development environment there. Okay. Or maybe it would just be a strictly playing stream. I don't know. Now let's go find that thing again. Mm. Super speed. All right, so I think, yeah, I think what it's going to be is do load Tamriel Rebuilt data, and here we are. Oops, sorry about that. Do load Tamriel, Tamriel Rebuilt data files. Do not load the plugin, and here you go. That's the thing we were just looking at a moment ago. That was the yellow, you know, you don't have this thing. So, okay. Uh... Time to make the change. Mm -hmm. Let's pull up the website real quick and find out what we say now. Okay, so download the main file, blah, blah, blah. Also down, da, 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 and I think a third bullet can just say, do not activate the Tamriel Rebuilt plugin. But I kind of want to see just how broken it is. Um, well, first, we've got a report here on GitLab. Know thy ancestors. Let's take a look at this. Ads, oh, okay, banner, yep. I saw this picture in my email. So here you have it, stuff like this. They move some of the terrain um, that caused the placement of the banners to be wrong in the world space. So you just can't, you can't use them. Very good, thank you so much, Ronic CZ. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, thank you for the report and for the picture. It's really everything we need to know. Um, so, you know, it's just a matter of like replacing those banners, just a matter, right? Um, I say, but for, you know, I'm not going to do it today. And, uh, so we'll go ahead and put it the third bullet here, which I think hmm, which I think will be good enough. Oh yeah, there we go. Just awkward indenting here. crunch before I do that let's do all the dog and pony show Okay. 
Don't want to get too specific there. Crunch away. While we're waiting on that. Do I even allow setting a different? No, not really. Okay. So. I think two is fair, and I don't really remember which one we're going to hit. Uh, we'll hit this one, but for posterity. Not going to do that just yet. And actually, really, let's just do that. No need to tempt fate. Try that again. There we go. That's hopefully not killing me. Let me know. That might take a minute to crunch, but it's okay. Just in time. Mm, oh, yeah. I have forgotten. Just going to comment it out rather than delete it. <clears throat> Maybe it'll come back. That should be the diff in its entirety. Let's go back to E shell here. All right. Just going to go ahead and reference the issue in the commit log. that one off all right yeah this one will be the next one some hopefully easy stuff here this one eh, won't be hard but you know writing tests it just occurred to me at a shower thought that I added that thing yesterday and didn't really get any test for it honestly don't remember if I have tests for all the database model methods probably should um so yeah, we can look at that and I can decide if it's something that we actually need or if I was just being a little nutso about it. Okay, just one plugin. Very good. Updated today. Very good. Special note there. Very good. And a note here. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So, uh, this just amounts to a couple of, you know, documentation changes about beautiful cities of Morrowind. So let's go ahead and go there. Beautiful.
All right, and yeah, so we got two, three, three new data paths that we're going to put on there. Just to re-add some stuff that was a default before. Give that, uh, you know, kind of complete, you know, feel. Fix that key, those keys, in a moment. Rotating planets. My opinion, why would you not want that? Unless you're on like a potato. Or or maybe maybe you just don't want that. And that's reasonable too. Alright, fix these keys. Lucky 13. Surprised there's no date updated here yet. Certainly, this one is updating all the time. Props to Randapel. Sometimes the search just works. All right. These three mod lists. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. I did actually remember. Hold on a second. To grab my Morrowind strategy guide. I bought this thing like, I don't know, 20 years ago. Even has like my see like my placeholder bookmarks in here but uh, this is awkward yeah like some of these maps travel map and yeah the thing is just like it's a tome it's huge um and what's funny is the main quest amounts to like 30 or so pages in here it's like minuscule compared to just all the other content that is covered in here maps just all kinds of awesome stuff um so yeah huh. here's the back cover to it it's an okay condition it's been sitting it looks like it's been sitting in a box for 20 years which it has so yeah i just wanted to, <laughs> i remembered that uh oh now i'm checking right here we don't need to do this anymore i don't know if random pile made the change because some poor open mw user you know complained about it if so thank you I'm not even sure if there's an active bug about this on the OpenMW tracker. There should be. Um, anyway, we can del we can delete that note. I don't really like to bug mod authors about stuff like that, you know. Um, oh, remove the ampersand from your folder name. You know, if they ask me... Somebody asks me, like, oh, what do you think of this? I will give that kind of feedback, you know, but I don't like to create work for people just because they're doing, you know, Random Pal's doing this for fun. I don't want to bug him with, like, some OpenMW stuff that they should really fix if they know about it. Okay. So, really, that's just all we need is a change log entry. Fix the content. Sanity check myself. And then we're going to skip this for now and jump to this one because this is also something I noticed while I was having coffee. Or 
maybe I said that already. But these are in the change log only, or maybe they were on the website for a very short period of time, a couple of months. Um, but they're 404s. I could have sworn I tried to um, create redirects for them. Excuse me, on one of these streams even. I think before I properly recorded them as VODs. So anyway, I'm going to just take a look at that because I noticed that I've got it here actually. These not found weighty charged attacks, stat spell, stat buffs, directional attacks, stat buff. You know, they should redirect to the combat pack, which has all of those things. Oh, the horror of waiting. We have some we have some new plugins that go here too. We'll do a recrunch after I add those and we'll look at everything before, but there are new plugins for some of these new data paths. <clears throat> awesome. Gone. still even the right mm -hmm. wonder if I should this is how they'll come out of the box basically uh, well there's also the optional yeah we're gonna fix all of these I think let's see here Memoir with bigger arch atlas and these are the subfolders that they come in just so people can kind of like drag and drop to quote a certain king of the hill character Oh, wow, a lot of these are options. Okay. Okay, see what? <laughs> Why is it in that file? Hmm. I want to make sure that sort of my assumptions regarding what happens with this slash are correct for Windows people. So I'm going to do this. The horror. <clears throat> All right. Crunch it. So my intention, how I have these here. Now I put this core folder here. Technically don't need it, I don't think. But the intention is somebody can just like plop all these. You know, I have the patches subfolder here. Um, somebody may not do that. You know, certainly it's not. The way it's presented here is just, you know, blah, you put it all in one folder. And really that's the easiest 
way to do it. So while we're waiting, let's see how that app image is cooking. Yeah, okay. It'll need a minute. wonder if there is an issue for this. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. <clears throat> Yay, finally. Okay. I feel like I've been waiting forever. Oof. So this time, we're gonna have a big chunk of Windows paths here. And as, if I remember correctly, and if the code that I remember making is correct, we're gonna get the right slashes. Yeah, we did. Thank you, past me, for writing correct code insofar as it did what I wanted it to do without thinking about it too much. There you go. So yeah, it is just as if you took the zip and plopped it into this, you know, folder that I tell you to create. A lot more simple, I think. Great. That's really great. Hooray. Uh, but, but we owe ourselves one more crunch. Not going to pat myself on the back just yet. because we got we got some new stuff here BCOM canal okay this is an educated guess placement for these and I'm not actually gonna deploy the website before I did a sanity check with mlocks and uh, we may get to that today but this is just a good guess on my part a good guess I don't know I could be completely wrong the rotating planets definitely work I didn't go check out uh, tribals yet okay so with these in place My favorite and yours, crunch again. Cool. Not committing that, obviously. All right. Should be everything. Fifteen seconds just for the mods. That's painful. Finally. Yeah, it's a cool it's a cool. In eight seconds, it seems like so much longer. There we go. 
I think I can. Neat, neat. <clears throat> All right. All right. Okay. This one should be easy. Womp, that's the 404 you see in a development mode with Django. And then you have like this breakdown of all the all the junk let's come that back okay directional attack stat buffs Did I typo the slug? Is that what I did? Because I knew I added these. No. Did I typo this slug? Well, this one I didn't do, but did I typo... this one no huh. and yet does what it should. World Textures 1.0 is just World Textures. Yeah, that's what I want. <clears throat> Why you know, do it. Oh no, it's right here. I'm putting all the syllabus ones next to each other. Clearly missing it, something.
That's real. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I see the typo now. There you go. I am not going to put removal entries for each of these. There are not any. Um, I mean, they still exist if somebody wants to seek them out individually. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't just use the whole combat pack. Turn things off as needed. Try everything out. Turn things off as needed, you know, if you don't like them. Check back in over here. That's fine. It's about where I killed it before. The slideshow generator. I'm going to actually lower my desk down. Okay, ah, that's better. Oh my. Okay, unit test for custom folder fields. So let's just take a quick look here. None of these are being run. These are Selenium tests that will open the browser. Excuse me. Check HTTP status code. Whoop. Don't try this at home. Check HTTP status code does what you think it does. Check for text does what you think it does. Simple stuff. I didn't do anything crazy. Here we go. So what am I doing here? Hmm. Okay. There should be a test for this, but I'm going to skip it for now because I don't really have like tests for the methods, you know, they're all indirectly flexed and this one isn't really at the moment. And that's because the, t the tests will need to interact with data in the database and it's very painful to fill the database in a test I mean you know if you watch the stream before <laughs> you know about the crunching ritual and it takes time so the idea is I have instead of 500 mods I have 5 that I do for the tests or, or fewer than that even um, 
Actually, hold up. Hold up. There is some place. Oh yeah, here we go. Four tests. We have four tests. Yeah, two really small. Okay. Hmm. I do not want to pull in gameplay as a category because it's just so big. Yeah, 80. Oof. Big oof. All right, well. I probably will eventually go through with allowing mods in one category to have a folder path with a category from another name just because like a lot of these beautiful city of Morrowind cities of Morrowind patches are patches they shouldn't like clutter up the you know the city's category same goes for the glass glow set patch I added yesterday like truthfully that's a patch to go in the patch category so yeah, in order to really test this, there just needs to be more mods that use it. Um, I'll come back to it. But yeah, for now, like I just need to I need to use the feature a bit more. So. All right. Okay, this will be an easy one. Just a simple find and replace. Kind of boring. Hmm. Just the one. All right. Get lab. All right. Before I do this, or this, or this, I'm going to take a look at some GitLab issues. This person came out to IRC and had a problem as the title says, Dunmer readers and writers holding nothing. So this is interesting. So in my total overhaul setup, there's one reader that is consistently not holding the book. Let's go ahead and, uh, I don't know the name of the cell off the top of my head, so we're gonna have to go find it. Potato time. I hope you're ready. And uh, let's... Let's get our codes in order. Cheat codes. There we go. 
see more of my ugly mug. So I'm going to fly into where the library is. I'll notice the cell name. I'm having deja vu again. I did this. Hang on. Yes, I sure did. Oh, but wait. We need to disable that uh, clouds shader because when you spawn indoors, you get a blank screen. Okay, should load a bit quicker this time. We're going into an interior, but you'll see what I mean. The submitter of the bug report had mentioned there being some broken script log entry, and I don't actually get that on my setup. Um, and we'll take a look at the log they left. For posterity, we'll turn on the AI, which I disable by default. And you can see one right here. Not sure what you're looking at, lady. Um, but I don't know if I personally saw any other reader not holding anything. Let's take a quick peek around. Everybody looks good. Um, so what I'll probably do is following this stream, I will point the issue submitter to the recording on YouTube of this and just kind of show them if you're watching it now. Hello. Um, everybody's holding the book except... This guy over here. Well, wait. Yeah. It's just this guy, or this lady over here. Not really sure what her deal is. Oh, wait a minute. That's kind of a... Uvo Loran. Oh, that's a familiar name. Uh, not really useful output there. Content file minus one. Really? So I don't have much of a clue, but you will note I don't have any, unless I'm missing it here. Let's take a quick scale a scan here. Level 40 check. I don't even know what that's for at the top, off the top of my head. Jail script. Alchemical hustle. I don't know what that is either, but it shouldn't be related. But yeah, you can see there's just nothing really in here. Um, so let's look at their log then. Let's go back here and... Uh, Some of the same, <laughs> curiously, the capitalization is different. Some of the same problems, though. UL, huh? Huh, okay. So I definitely don't have these in my log. I'm not sure what that really means. There must be some difference in our setup. So one thing I want to do I'm going to do this in a different terminal to be honest with you. Oh yeah, I did this the other day. Past me is in sync with now me. <laughs> yeah, okay, I did the other script, but... Object. 
index clutter, okay. Uh, I mean, okay. To be fair, I'll just scan everything. Um, that'll need a sec. But I'm looking for brute force, anything that has that script, case insensitive. Just give me the file name. Do it recursively. Treat binary files as text. All right. <clears throat> Back to it now. Uh, uh. So I did have the one reader, Lady by the Door, but I did not have the script failures. There are quite a, actually a few script failures they had that I did not have. Um, so that's interesting. Oh, yeah. That is also what I wanted to check. Now, if I load up Expanded Vanilla. Does it happen there, too? Should be mostly the same, right? But what if it's not? All right. All right, so before I do anything, pause the game. Let's quick look at the, you know, the log here. Latest 0 0.48 build. So I guess that's one question. They don't say what the OpenMW version is, so that's that's one thing. Um, these are things that I don't have. This one, too. I would be surprised if they had anything to do with it, but, you know, they were unable to rule it out. Um, or they were able to rule it out. Or maybe they weren't able to. Can I, so can I just use Library of Vivek and make this happen? Just it. Let's do it. Be gone, be gone. Okay. Okay. Should get us in there pretty quick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I goof that. Interestingly, she's not there, though. Nor is there some yellow diamond telling us she should be there. All right, we're getting closer. Actually... I have a really good hunch about this because I am using something in my setup that I don't have on the lists yet. It's something I've been playing with for a little while. Repopulated, repopulated Morrowind. Let's just, uh, let's just disable that. I am sure that Delta plugin will be unhappy. Let's see. Let's just go in there. And maybe I will need to merge again. I don't know. Maybe I can get away with not doing it. Yeah, she's there. 
So, next hunch. Must be... Friends and foes. I think that's all of them. <laughs> oh, wait. Delta plugin's going to blow up. We'll just let it do that. Or maybe not. Mm, okay. I'll take it. And she's gone. And just taking a quick look around. Oh, you know what? I wonder if they grabbed the book fix. Oh, uh, wait. No, <laughs> it's in a completely different mod. Okay, so... Last theory. Let's just unstage any garbage changes we don't want anymore. That all looks good. Book. Maybe the book fix is not as fixy as it could be. Or maybe it's what fixes it for me and not them. I don't know. <laughs> maybe get some clarity here. No book. She has books, though. Definitely has books. Oh, you know what? I don't trust myself. All right. She's gone. Probably held over in the merged plugin, which for whatever reason didn't complain when the master it took her from wasn't there. That's weird. I don't know. It seems like a Dalton plugin bug. So it seems to be an NPC from friends and foes, for, in my case. Not holding the book. And... we go back here we'll re-enable everything I do have this book fix file I think intended to fix something with people holding books so the question is then you know friends and foes puts people all over not just in the library and the question is do other you know book holders have a missing book as well you know um, I'm not really sure but as of right now this is all I see. Just this one. Book fix be damned. Will not hold. All right, lady. Good for you. Stand up from the crowd. I like it. 
so yeah, I don't know what the I don't know what the approach should be there. Um maybe there is some so I guess my my question is, you know, does this happen with Morrowind.exe? Is this some more uh, open MW issue? You the viewer, if you try it, let me know. I don't think I'm gonna try it right now. So yeah, all right. Um, so for this one, I think it's safe to say that it does, right? It does affect, let's pull up expanded vanilla again. Any mod that uses the library and friends and foes together is going to see this, I assume. So we'll tag it as such in GitLab. There she is. Okay, um, so I'm going to follow up on that issue after the stream, provide a, a link as a reference, but thank you, Setiness, for your report and for chatting on IRC the other day. Broken Links, also by Setiness. Thank you again. Robe Overhaul. Okay, some that I... Missed, apparently. Robe overhaul. Okay. Oh, look at that. I sure did. Okay. Whoops. We want this. Do a little bit of tab garbage collection. We want that. Okay. And it's graphics overhaul too. really trying to keep on top of, you know, managing GitLab properly. I think that's good for now. Spells reforged shield. That's a bummer. I can't wait for this. This looks so great. Bound items. Elemental shields. That's really the meat of what got replaced here. Oh, no, this is it. Mm. That's too bad. Well... That's too bad. I think what we're going to do is just... delist 
This is going to run. Oh. We can we can look at it. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll do roll ball overhaul first since this is a known, known. Uh, closing, clothing. So that was easy. Let's crunch the website. <clears throat> While I prepare for the other one. Which isn't going to be less easy per se, but there's going to be more work involved. Yeah, I'm, I've got this locally, but it's, you know, it's dead now, so... Okay, well, RIP that then. Spells reforged. Oh, I'm tracking it already. Apparently I knew about this. Gonna go ahead and put this in my my personal mod graveyard. Slash mod stash because it's not just dead things in there. Get my downloads folder there. All right, so what exactly can we use here? Core. No, we don't. We don't need core at all. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, we do need core, because we get damage health. Okay. Dash. Goldfish me. We're going to bound spells. Elemental shields. Damage health. While I did that, we got a crunched website. We can go ahead and check this robe overhaul work. Hmm. Just 
just might be really aggressively cached. I know what day it is today. Yeah, and that's why I didn't see it in the latest. It's not aggressively cached. I'm aggressively dumb. So if you're on Windows, you got like a handy feature probably with 7-Zip or the normal context menu. You can uh, like extract it to a folder named after that. Do that if you can. I'm just going to do it the caveman way. For now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, huh. I probably overlooked something on the page here. <laughs> we obviously don't need number zero. Very happy to delete it. Wasn't clear to me that it was just MWSE, but yeah, you can see in here, just script extender. Don't need it. Bound spells. You don't need that. Save some inodes. All right. Now. Oh, good. App image. Still very slowly chugging. Chugging. Even. Let's open. Uh, let's, where are we? VFX spells. Reforged. Cool. Wasn't as useful as I thought it would be. Uh, Those are they. So I'm just going to put these. Um, 
I'm going to put them where the other one went for now. Yeah, right here. We're going to deprecate this one as well. Good, except that mod doesn't exist yet. We'll get there. Mm -hmm. oh, oops. Don't try this at home. Or learn to type if you do. Just kidding. Spells reforged. Excuse me. And since we're in here. Jumping forward in time here. All right. Now what to put there in the description? It's a bit minimalist, which I appreciate. Which, by the way, mad props to Kerp, Greatness 7. I just love this. I really do. Tell you what. We'll editorialize just a tad.
Ooh, I think I have to take a bio break. So please, just give me one moment. I'll be right back. Ooh, where's my camera? I don't normally really like dubstep that much, but I don't know, some of these OC remix tunes. I think I just got nostalgia for Final Fantasy VI. That's really what it is. Where was I? Okay. And so we gotta we gotta remove these um, from the mod list. Total overhaul graphics overhaul, okay. log do the crunch <clears throat> let's look at the diff so far rename there rename there add the new plugin add the new folder update the old entry new note new mod all that jazz all right just change log is all we need feels great oops and let's see here. Oh, jeez. Don't try this at home. think any extra comments needed. Removed.
Uh, let's try and see these in game while it's uh, working, shall we? Sanity checking myself is compatible. We're going to beeline it over to the Balmora Guild of Mages and see this in action. Uh, and I think I can probably get more spells there too that I can't just cheat in myself. Okay, yeah, I just needed that sanity check. <clears throat> I doubted myself. Normally, I would just re-crunch my uh, merge plugin. I don't want to make the stream chug, though. And wait, the website going to be viewable? Let's see. All right, cool. Fix that. Get that detail. Oh, screenshot looks sick. Farmer, which one? The spells one? Because, yes, I agree. It does. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Certainly better than the, um, and maybe for posterity I can show the the vanilla effect. Not to be a hater, but it's not nearly as, as, as exquisite as <laughs> this. This, I mean, frankly, they're all cool. You know, the one that is deprecated now that doesn't work, this one is super cool. Like, one of the best shield spell effects I think I've seen in any game actually props to Kerp but I mean this looks super cool too these look great you know um, yeah yeah so anyway let's check the work Whoops. I have gifts on my mod page. No, 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 check it. Uh, can be doable. Hmm? Pretty cool, huh? But, uh, and I think I do have it. Ooh, on Nexus mods, I do have the gift, but it is. I think they block it yeah like if I click this but right here it's not animated I don't know if I put it down here if it would be I don't really know and that's not one that we need bound spells Did I put that one there yeah Makes everything better. Yeah, having a, I mean, especially for something like action camera swap, you know, it like makes sense to have an animated, you know, GIF for it. 
Um, all right, well, let's, um, while we're waiting for the website to do its thing, let's try to see what these spells look like on my high-end potato. You ready for a ride? Spawning inside is not a terrible idea. Is that what I named him? Yeah. One, three, five. Let's try that again. Yeah, okay, shield, of course. Um, cool. Run game on gaming PC with XPRA, Farmer says. <laughs> I mean, huh, you should try that and stream it. And, and you know, for science, see if it's doable. Um, I also have my Steam link. That I read recently is actually probably not even worth exploring um, because there's some FOSS solutions. Moonlight and something, Moonbeam. Um, I want to look into that for sure. But, ooh, you know, streaming it is not a bad idea. I can leave my gaming PC wherever the hell it is. Where was I? All right. Look at how I glow. That's pretty cool. Oof. Gotta love it. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Let's get the uh, action camera swap. Doesn't like the vanity camera. Oh, man, look at that. Pretty neat. All right, so let's give ourselves frost shield. Ooh. All right, cool. Just going to wear them both at the same time. Getting a little crazy here, but that looks, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. I'm going to actually let that expire. 17 seconds. I'm going to let that expire. Oh, Farmer says, set up the machine to do the Void Cuda thing. Nice. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Space Farmer is not only one of my IRL friends, but he's also a fellow Void Linux user. And so we get to do fun things and share the experience or the pain sometimes neat okay so now the last thing we need is the lightning shield i hope that's the name of it all right that is a good effect i know it's so good definitely worth having props to kerp G7, anybody involved. Really love it. Just, phew. you might also notice I have the normal maps for everything going on. Um, be coming to the website soon once I, same effect, just upside down. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> All right, and let's give it a lighting. Wow, that's pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Wowee. Uh -huh. That's neat. That's just neat. All right. Damage health. <sighs> so the question is, where do I? Uh, no. Question is, where do I get this spell? Hmm. I have an idea, 
but let's first try and buy it down here. No, you're not. You're not her. You. Ooh, bound. Yeah, wait, that's one of the things we wanted. I'm glad I came down here anyways. Let's buy it all. I have a hunch. Don't remember the name of the... There we go. Just a hunch. Ah, 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 ha, ha, ha. Ah, the good old racists of Sadrith Mora. I don't got my papers. <laughs> so this was a bad idea after all. All right, hold on. Oh, it helps if I spell. Can somebody here hook us up? I need that damage health. Mm. Nuts. Let's see if Heemlock can come through. Doesn't look like it. We're going to consult a search engine here. UESP being a reasonably good source of info, Farmer says, one of the first gaming VFX things I ever tried was to make a 2D lightning bolt effect using Borland Turbo C++. Did not look that good. Aha. Uh -huh. That seems old school. Borland. I don't know. All right. I feel like quick. Oh. Absorb health. I want to see this one because it looks pretty cool. Oh, you know what? They got a YouTube video. Let's just do that up. Pretty happy with those other ones, though. I'm going to guess this is Vanilla Morrowind. Oh, but that's cool. I like it. Oh, it looks like he's got just some, yeah, some custom spell. Okay, well, cool. Very good. Props, Kerb. Nice work. Uh. Bound spells. Oh, wait. I never did the bound spell. Hey, Gonzo. <laughs> Welcome. No sweat. We're just checking out spells reforged. Somehow I missed. Uh, I'm sure I've been emailed about it many times. The spell reforged shield didn't work on OpenMW. I thought it did. Delisted. So we got a nice new pack here, though. We're not left totally in the dust. Let's just... 
Let's see how this looks here. Wow. That's just so cool. I need to see another one. Got caught up in <laughs> getting some feedback from Sotha's combat pack. Yeah, that's so cool. Let's do another one for posterity, and let's do that outside. Hope you're doing well today, Gonzo. Farmer, you too, my man. Okay. Potato quality frame rate. Still, though, I think that's cool. And just because I want to see it again. It was just too cool to not see again. Really something. Whoosh. Not bad. Potato quality frame rate notwithstanding. All right. I sure hope I crunched the site while we were doing that. I think I did. Thank you, past me. Oh, dear. I totally screwed this up. There you go. It's a new feature. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Just like that. So far, so good. Awesome. It's a beautiful day out here. a little gardening after this maybe we'll see uh yeah and just covering again we're just covering the uh the bug report from settiness here robe overhaul this is fixed this is going to be fixed in a moment um just got to make sure that uh everything looks right on the website and uh oh yeah since you're just getting here too, um, we left off yesterday looking at M-Locks, and I want to share that I actually did get M-Locks. I let, walked away from it like an hour and then came back and <clears throat> found the Python package that I need, QT5, something or other. Uh, let's see here. QT5 quick ended up being the sauce that I was missing. And so MLOX runs. And what I'm going to do after this is we're going to go ahead and go through that whole process. So we'll end the stream today with running MLOX. But I'm going to do kind of the whole, I'm going to show you the stream from like the Linux using poor bastards uh, perspective. How do you get an environment to run MLOX exactly? People on Windows can start paying attention at a certain point. I'll, I'll mention that. But um. You know, we on Linux, we have to wine install first. And I actually like to keep a separate set of data files for things like MLOX or TES3 command if I'm cleaning plugins. I have like a separate, you know, because I touch those, right? I don't want to touch the data files for the game. Just read only. We're getting close here. Gotta love the library shuffle, indeed. It's just like whack-a-mole sometimes. Like, particularly with Python stuff, you don't always know. Um, and it wasn't obvious. I appreciate my distro breaking those up and making it granular. I have to go through and uninstall the crap I don't need now. Good. That's there. Awesome. Be gone. There we go.
yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. Latest updates. Such a slow page without a cache. Okay. All right. These would is what we've done today. By the way, Gonzo, uh, I realized that with Know Thy Ancestors, you should not use the TR plugin, but you actually do need to load the TR data files. When I mentioned I was getting missing stuff before, that's the recipe for that. So we've instructed people thusly in the usage notes. All right. That looks great. 61 items for this 5.3 release. It's I really want to get all like the corrections and bug fixes before I put a bow on 5.3. And then with 5.4, we'll add the normal maps. We'll add the new meteorite ministry alternative and we'll get crazy with other things. Um, but yeah, for now we'll, uh, we'll keep, this is adding something. So was the, you know, the patch for glass Glossa and uh, GH, but I mean, it's not a significant, I think it's worth a point release. So yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm happy with this. It's just yeah okay I gotta add a twitch chat overlay to my stream yeah I do I figured you could do that I'll do that <laughs> no reason not to right um, definitely no reason not to. Ooh, you know what? Mm. Is that 199? It is. All right. All right. Streamlabs makes it pretty easy. Yeah, okay, cool. I was looking into, I wanted like a blur background thing so you didn't have to look at all my junk, but. Yeah, don't have to read the chat. Right, yeah, thank you, yeah. I'd like to give people context if they're watching after the fact on YouTube or whatever. All right, well, for next week, we will have... Uh, which chat overlay in the video? It's official. Okay. I'm losing my head here. Okay. that real quick all right <clears throat> yeah if if listen only yes <laughs> so here we are back to it farmer says then you don't have to read the chat when you respond or not i guess i suppose it does make it better if listen only for those of you that are just listening along and <laughs> Sorry, lol. He says, no, okay, I'm taking it too far now. App image, building with one CPU core. Legit taking like an hour and a half. All right, anywho. So, taking a step back. So, we have, uh, in the Linux world, we have, if you don't know, we have something called Wine. 
which lets us run Windows stuff. And uh, I myself, I'm a big fan of wine. And I have shameless plug time. I have produced some software to ease the process of working with wine. Um, if you're somebody who likes command line things, you can basically, yeah, just, you know, boom, like this. So so I'll give it just a quick demonstration. I'm going to nuke my install there. Underwhelm install ES3. And taking a step back, I have configuration that WEM is aware of, where to install from, what to expect, speech tech to speech. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not falling for it. I'm not reading it, farmer. It's not happening. Web install. It's set to a value that isn't real. Oh yeah, well, because it's not installed yet. I suppose that's a bug in my software. It's just a warning. And so, uh, Wine is doing its thing. Um, this is awkward. Oh. Huh, interesting. Sure is there. Still media to use more. Sure is there. Oh, yeah, I know what happened. Shot myself in the foot. Good old pastime. And so what get that gives us is like a virtual Windows installation here. Telling it to install the stuff into the game folder there because each, if you're doing it right, each wine thing you run has its own prefix, its own pseudo Windows install. Yes, it takes a lot of disk space, but it's better. Trust me. And so we're getting, we're gathering all the files here. Good, good. I want to go for that R fuzzo. Okay. I have it in my command history. We're going to get that R fuzzo fork of um, M locks. I wonder if there, Farmer says, I wonder if there is a way, stupid Twitch UI, oh my goodness, I wonder if there's a way to insert random subsonic and ultrasonic noise into your voice stream so that those AI speech mimic things can't learn my voice. Well, yeah, I don't know. I basically just don't care about that. <laughs> and there's a, yeah, I just don't care. I'm taking the, uh, what's his name, who did Darth Vader's voice. Pretty sure he gave, like, Disney or whatever, like, the A-OK -okay to just use his voice. And, you know. He's going to be remembered because of that. Now. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really care. It is a noble endeavor, though. Yeah, um. It's very exciting waiting for Morrowin to install. It's, uh, my... Installation folder is on an NFS drive, so it's going a little slow versus, uh, you know, this install media folder is NFS share. If it was actually on my computer, we'd probably be done by now. Oops, my bad. I'm checking that off because we did do it. We're doing that. Um, This is getting created. I'm checking it off. Get these high percentage numbers in the past two days. Feels good. This, uh... I wanted to actually handle some real website issues first, but we'll probably do this one next week. Just uh, James Earl Jones. Thank you, Farmer. Yeah, he's the man. This one will just be like copying some CIML file that I have um, 
for example. Oh. Natural character growth and decay. Just a basic CI file. You know, we'll have a uh, three stages. Probably one stage for for compiling it, one stage for publishing a website, and another stage for uploading the artifact to GitLab itself to be hosted on the aforementioned website. I'll probably copy paste this entire thing and make like a sl only a slight change to it. I probably won't have to change anything to it. Really? Yeah, I'll have to add the website file, so this I'll have to add, but uh, I think I would change this to just to a make. But yeah, we'll do that next weekend, probably. Still install installing Morrowind. Maybe this wasn't a great idea. While we're waiting for that, though, we can do some of the necessary other things that are needed. And so I have a, a Python score. What we need to take a step back. You want, where are, what are we trying to solve? What problem are we trying to solve? You have OpenMW. You have an OpenMW load order. Let's take a look at one of those. You have a plugin load order like this. Oh, something is happening with the wine stole my focus okay any, anyway back to my rant you have a load order you want it sorted so that things work right but you are a mere mortal and you don't know in your head how everything should be you know I mean how many of these do I have from line 1703 to 2026 that's a lot okay that's a lot We'll say I got a couple comments in there, but that's a couple hundred. You just no human can know how those work, so you need to load it into MLOX. But you have more problems. MLOX really only knows about Morrowind.exe. So you have to take your load order and you have to put it into a Morrowind.exe loadout. Morrowind.exe, of course, does not use this same format. The problems compound. I have written. OpenMW to MWINI, a very small, pardon my language, sh very shitty Python script that just does what it's supposed to do and really only makes one attempt to make sure there's no problems. And that's right here. We make sure at least we have the file that we want to read. But it takes your Morrowind configuration, spits it out into the Morrowind.ini format. All right, we got a Morrowind install. How serendipitous. Open to IONI. And we give it the game CFG total overhaul. Great. Okay, so what do we need now? We need our line prefix, ts3, drive c, game, morrowind, dot i and i. All right, game file. Okay, Windows users, you can start paying attention basically now. Um, you can use this Python script it might be more than your OS is set up to for. I don't know if modern Windows comes with Python yet. It would basically work the same way. Um, I don't know if output redirection looks like that on PowerShell. I don't know. But anyway, what I did was I put the output from it into a text file. I'm going to copy pasta this into here. Save it. And now I'm going to uh, Arfuzo Mlocks. Manually typing in a git URL. Hey, it worked though. All 
right. And so we see the magic happening here in the output. Ooh. That was no good. Let's try that again. Hmm. Uh, this is terrible. All right. All right. This is probably because MLOX is not designed to work with Python 3.11. And that's a bummer, honestly. That's a big bummer. I'm going to close it. We're going to take one more shot at this. Probably we'll have the same problem. And again, here on my computer... running void Linux, reasonably up to date. I got Python 3.11 shiny version of it. I would expect the same thing to happen here. Maybe not. So, all right, some of the new features that our Fuzzo added are dependent on some specific Python version's behavior of their RE library. It's not a fault of our fuzzo at all. But if we look up here, we, I think we already did benefit from having it. As you can see here, already downloaded the latest version. Control C out of that. No, of course it doesn't control C. Close it out here real quick. Okay. Let's uh this file right here. This is it. <clears throat> we already got the new files, so great. Let's run MLOX. Pay no attention to this. It's just loading, I think. Yeah, it's, it's reading this one. So we don't care. Did I not save it? It says it's reading that one, but it certainly is not. All right. So yeah, don't trust it. Go back, open it up, and here we go, blammo. And here you have it. Current order on the left here. Proposed changes. I don't understand some of this output. I don't know why um, these are highlighted. Yeah, I mean, the order is... Okay, no, there is a... So, oh my. Book rotate. Yeah, so my where's base is out of order. We just scroll down here. Imperial skirt. I shouldn't have that still. Do I? No, I do. Huh. Made by my friend, Daniil. I think that's why I kept it. Is it on the mod lists, though? Yeah. Okay, it is. Ignore me. 
So anyway, we're running a little long here, but hopefully this is useful to see. MLOX output. So yeah, it's suggested moving some stuff around. And so this is the point where, yeah, I will compare this with what I have in my text file and go from there. And um, you have to be a little judicious because sometimes it will move things around just because it does not explicitly have a hard-coded place or everything. It's trying to like use some heuristics to decide where things go. Um, it's non-deterministic. Hey, but it looks like some of my guesses were pretty good. Doesn't I have BCOM? Yeah, okay. All right. Guessed correctly. So there you have it. Run through of using MLOX. Um, sorting the total overhaul. Doesn't look like there's any major changes, but I'm going to sort through those uh, once I hang up with y'all. And um, I think that's it. So uh, what are we going to do next week? MLOX is so, so handy, Gonzo says. Uh, I added an extra so in there. I hope you don't mind. It is. It's very handy. Um, I would like to figure out what the problem is with Arfuzzo's fork. Submit a patch if need be. Um, maybe there's some Arch Linux using people out there. Got new Pythons. Fedora probably has a new Python, you know. Um, many Linuxes might have a newer Python than what they're expecting. So... Um, I am going to go ahead and let's pop over here real quick. <laughs> the app image is still chugging. Um, I guess the process of updating it isn't really that exciting, but I'll go ahead and for the, for posterity, I'll go ahead and just show you. Right now it's a manual process. I build it in Docker on my local machine here. I push it up to my uh, file server that I have, and um, and then I update a JavaScript file, and then that creates links here for everything, and you can download the dev builds. Um, the SHA there is an old SHA 7.2 EFD3, blah, blah, blah. So that's an old one. I built that probably in February. So once this is done crunching, um, put that up there. And again, you know, I feel like an app image is uh, probably the optimal way to, for example, put OpenMW dev builds on your Steam Deck. I don't know if there's a flat pack for dev builds yet. The necessary, necessarily rigid style of flat packs kind of makes it hard to do that, um, I guess. So anyway, um, next week we'll definitely have stuff to do. Uh, Oh, I had an idea. Here's some food for thought for you, Gonzo, in particular. Um, I've had this idea for like a mod list guidebook mod. Now, in a perfect world, it would be like some Lua thing that's like a menu that people can check things off. But basically, yeah, it's just like a list of... Um, I actually have like notes for this in here. But it's just like a list of like, okay, I'm playing the game. It's my first time doing it total overhaul or expanded vanilla or whatever. There's all this new content I mean, how do I know what to do? You know, maybe maybe people don't want like a straight up strategy guide telling holding their hand. But yeah, here's my checklist. I was like trying to think of new content, stuff that's significantly changed in the game by the mods that you're adding. You're going to want to see them. And maybe, yeah, like some kind of a mod guidebook mod would be useful. Um, now, we could do that now with like a, you know, MW script. And it would be a little less fancy. Or maybe it could be like, a, this would be abusing the script settings, but it could be like a script settings menu, and I can get check boxes in there and all that stuff. The OpenMW devs would probably hate me if I did that. Erm would hate me if I did that. Just an idea I had. Um, I'm playing with Kogarun, Extinct City of Ash and Sulfur, Sulfur by D Manufacturer. There is a conflict with Rise of House Telvani. Just exquisite terrain edits in this mod, but there's like a some something that gets put there by Rise of House Telvani, and so the manufacturer is um, the extended Morrowind prophecies. Yeah, okay, that'd be the name for the book. Gonzo says that's a good idea. So something to stew on. Maybe we'll develop that next week. Like, uh, do, will we have time for the Modathon next week? No. Oh wait, yeah. Modathon will be in full swing next week still, so I don't know. Maybe next week for the Modathon, we'll bang this out on the stream. We'll take a break from doing website stuff, or or maybe we'll spend half a stream doing it. I don't know. That would be. I think it's a cool idea, and I personally, you know, like obviously I have my list right here for when I'm playing next. I plan on doing a playthrough once we get this one squared out. Um, but yeah, uh, Vegito's important patches. There's some cool normal map. 
packs on here that I would prefer over the ones from normal maps for everything because they are for Vegito's mods, you know, so take normal maps created by Vegito for their mods. MAO Spell Sounds. Got to put that on the website. Got to, got to. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of musing on better read me instructions, normal maps for everything. That's going to be a down the road. This book's replacer looked pretty sweet. All books color-coded and designed. It's not new, but um, it's newer than what's on the lists. Um, there was a question about this one in Discord, which actually, after reviewing it, I think we already covered that on the website. Um, and they may have just missed it in the patch thing, but... We'll pull it up and check it off as needed. Repopulated Morrowind. Highly recommend addition to friends and foes. Put more NPCs everywhere. Create more physics gasms to kill your frame rate. It's all good. Oh, I did that already. This one we got to do. This is kind of an important one. Ground cover plugin names. People can, I think, figure that out on their own. But nonetheless, it would be great to put, you know, actual correct name in there. So anyway, there's plenty in the backlog. And that doesn't speak of the... Um, Oh my, don't try this at home. The very large issue backlog we got here. Um, quite a few of these are... Uh, this mod needs to be, you know, clean. That mod needs to be clean. Qu quite a lot of those. Um, this is definitely what I want to do. Add M-O-H-T, which is the helper to clean mods for people. And maybe do other things too. Maybe not next week, but definitely in a future stream. So, yeah, just there's a huge backlog. This is when I was keeping track and tagging things appropriately. We'll get back into that. But there's a huge backlog. Lots to do. Um, but I think next week I definitely want to explore that uh, guidebook.